Good morning, guys. So it's uh, another work day for me, and it's a pretty crappy day out right now. It's still kind of dark and rainy. So I'm just making my latte right now. Just steaming my milk, and then I'm gonna have my espresso brewing shortly. Put my mug under there. But uh, Evie's still not awake yet. Usually on days that it's pretty dark and just, I don't know, it's as if she knows it's dreary outside, so she sleeps in, so. I had to wake up before her, and so I'm going to get all my stuff ready, I got myself ready, and then I'll go and wake her up, and then I just can feed her, and then we can leave. Instead of waking her up and trying to get ready when she's, you know, still waking up, so. If she sleeps longer than me, then I get myself ready, and then get her up. But she's usually, she's pretty consistent on the times that she goes to sleep and wakes up. Um, usually now... I mean, it's kind of a broad window, I guess. She'll be up anywhere between, I'd say, 6.30 and 8, any time in between then. But it's, um, you know, lately she's usually up around 7, 7.15. That's her pretty standard wake-up time. But, um, that, you know, the window can vary anywhere between, like, an hour, an hour and a half. So, I'm gonna just got my, my espresso brewed. There we go. And then some vanilla syrup, like usual. And I'll probably have some toast. And we're probably going to be hanging out with my in-laws tonight. So, again, not sure how much footage I'm going to get today. But I will try my best and get some stuff for you guys. So I'll talk to you later. Evie. <laughs> Evie Claire. Baby girl. Good morning. <laughs> Are you a little more awake now? Are you more awake now? I'm just doing a little reading too. It's a good book. It's like a daily <clears throat> devotional. You should pick it up. <laughs> Hello mama. Are you ready to get ready now? Go get changed. Go hang out with your friends. All right, let's go. It's pretty chilly out there. We're all warm and snuggly. Here we are. Here we are. All right, let's go. All right, I'm stopped at a light. Um, I think after work today, I'm going to stop at Baby's R Us and try to get some new, like the neck size up, of the nipples for Evie's bottle. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn about it. I've kind of like done some research on it and just looked up what other moms did because the ones she's on now are like the infant ones, you know, stage one, slow flow. And um, she seems to be taking a little bit longer to drink her bottles than she used to. And she's like inverting the tip, like sucking it into the bottle. So I think she's like trying too hard. So, I don't know. My husband's like, just get the bigger, the bigger size, and I don't know. I just feel like maybe it'll become too easy, and then she might start to nurse less or not not be as interested. That's what I've read. So I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna pick some up and see how it goes. And now I'm moving, so I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, so I'm about to take my break for lunch, but I just wanted to show you real quick um, a little bit of my desk organization at work. This is how I have my desk set up. So I have my pump bag I tuck underneath and my garbage can tucks underneath and all my, this is the top of my desk. My baby girl is up there, her pictures. But um, my drawers, I'll show you what they look like. I mean, my, my office provides all this stuff so I have this organizer right here that I can keep all my things organized. The second drawer, I just have important papers. And then this last drawer, I just like divide the space. I have a basket here where I throw my keys, usually my wallet, um, because I don't bring my purse to work. I just, you know, because I just put these things in my diaper bag. So I just carry them in and drop them in here. I have a, my mug, my coffee mug. This Starbucks bag has like napkins and plastic spoons and forks and stuff. A little bag of pretzels for snacking and my paychecks because I get direct deposit. So those are just the pay stubs. And that's my desk organization at work. 
This is a little like hole where we can pull up a wire. And so I always have my phone with me. And so it's where I keep my uh, charger. And so it, to keep it from slipping through, I just use a little, um, what's it called, a binder clip to clip it to the edge of this opening so it doesn't fall through. And that's my little <laughs> organizational tip. And I have also this here to hold my papers. It's so functional. Hey guys. <laughs> So I have some terrible news. My husband just called me and he got into a little car accident. Apparently he was braking and his the brakes on his car just locked and he slid pretty far into the car and minivan in front of him and he said his car might be done for. So I'm about to head out to go pick him up. Luckily I have Evie with me now and I'm thinking she might fall asleep. Um, it is like 5 o'clock rush hour on a busy highway so I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there but if you could just say a little prayer for him. He's fine. He's, he's fine. But his car is done and we're going to have to get a new car probably. Uh, it's just crazy. So, I'm about to go pick him up. I don't know if I'm going to be um, recording anything else today. Um, so, thanks for hanging out with me today. This is kind of a stinky end of the day, end of the week. So, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, just pretty crappy. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.